welcome back to the channel folks appreciate you being here and you betcha it's another episode of sourcing fodder now today we're doing two interesting things we're going to savers to do another donation drop off and of course we're going to do a thrift but without putting pressure on Carla we're going to do a little test so Carla doesn't resell right she comes with me she helps me she's my lucky charm but I wanted to uh, put it to the test and see if she can actually go in and pick one, at least one item out and um, go through the process of listing it and selling it and all that jazz. I think it'll be a bit of a fun experiment. No pressure, babe. <laughs> um, so we, we talked about it. I want to give her the challenge of at least one item. That way I'm not trying to say that she has to find five items or spend 20 bucks, but just find one item without my help and um, she's going to pick it. I might ask her why she's picked it, but we'll go for that later. Uh, and see, see if she can make some money from it, right? A bit of a fun exercise. And the bigger reason why I want to do this is because I, I want to prove that anyone can walk in and find anything and, you know, maybe make a buck on it, right? So um, hopefully she'll make more than a buck on it, but that's why it's an experiment. <laughs> Bit of fun. So come along for a ride. We're doing going to Savers, and that's just it. Savers only. So um, it is just a one-hit wonder kind of trip. Um, we might get a lot of stuff. We might get no stuff. Hopefully Carla will get one thing at least. Regardless of this video, there should be one thing that we get. <laughs> no pressure, babe. Um, all right, team, we'll, we'll see you there. Wow. All right, we'll see how we go. Oh, except for one VHS. All right, team, done and dusted. It was kind of like a bread and butter kind of run because we didn't get lots of anything that's big bolos or anything like that. There's a few there which will probably, um, you know, get back majority of it, but a lot of it was just bread and butter stuff, the stuff that I'm comfortable with, stuff that I've done before. So we spent a total of $66.95 and 25 items. So, you know, I didn't actually really spend up too much today. Put a few things back, just wasn't too sure of it. Carla did get something, but we're going to go through that at the end. Um, so we'll take, we'll have a deeper view of what she picked and why. <laughs> no pressure. Yeah, so now we're going to drive back. A couple of you have asked some questions while I was um, at Savers via Instagram. So I'm going to go through and answer some of those questions as we drive home. So, um, yeah, let's do it. All right, team, we are back. We are back for some Q&A. And Carla's going to read them out to me because I'm driving and then I'll, I'll answer them. Let's, uh, let's do it. Question number one from Selena Bosch. Okay. Any learning lessons or what, what you wish you had done differently when you started with him? Any lessons that I wish I had started when I first started? Reselling? That you wish you had done differently. Wish I had done started. differently when first started reselling. Um, I think not to set expectations too high, um, but at the same time, I think there's a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have done, like purchase certain things or you know, because they were bad buyers or wouldn't have sold them again. But the only way to learn that is to go through the experience. So like, you know, if you spend $2 and realize it was a bad buy, well, it's not really that much out of your pocket. You don't want to be spending up too much too early and then it's a bad buy. So I think probably just, it's okay to grow slow and take your time, 
learn what you want to sell. Um, I think when I first started, I would buy a lot of different things, but now I definitely 80% of my stuff is books and that's just the way it's naturally progressed. So I think, yeah, it's probably just take your time to learn and it's okay to make mistakes and to learn from those mistakes because then it helps mold you into the reseller that you want to be. Um, but in terms of doing things differently, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how I've done it. Yeah, it's a good question. Okay. Yep, next one. Question from Matt's What I Am. Ah, uh, Matty Boy. What piece of advice would you tell your younger self if given the chance? What piece of advice I'll tell my younger self? Um, ah, oh, jeepers. This one's really good because it's like with hindsight, right? Like, you know, you know, we now know all this stuff and wish we could, you know, go back and tell ourselves. But I think it's, yeah, well, I was going to say invest early, but, you know, that that's like going back into the past and, you know, but I think that it is. So if anyone was watching this and let's say you're 10 years ago, I hadn't started investing, but investing inside it's like you got to understand that things will take time and the time will pass anyway so knowing that if you want to be somewhere when you're 30 or 25 or 35 and it's going to take a long time to get there then be doing that daily progress to work towards it the catch on that is a lot of people don't know what they want to be doing when they're at 20 25 even you know some people don't know what they want when they're 30 either but I think as soon as you know that there is an idea that you know you want to have your own business working for yourself or you want to be you know an athlete at that or whatever it may be it's going to take time and progress and experience so the sooner you can start doing something small towards that the better um, investing would be a good example that Carla said before it's like you know if you you see all these people they've got lots of money in their share portfolios or a big housing portfolio like real estate portfolio or something they started from zero they started early they started young and they've just built their way up so yeah I think it's just understanding that if I want something it's going to take action and work to get there and being comfortable with that um, because unfortunately there's no there's no quick way to it unless of course you get handed money or something but even that doesn't solve all your problems so yeah that's probably what I'll tell myself just to understand what I want and um, understand what I need to do to get to that and be making sure that I'm doing something towards that each and every day. Yeah, good question. Plan to be reselling still in the next five years? Uh, this is a good question. Um, and it's, I love that it's come from another reseller. So, good question, Christian. Um, yeah, look, it's hard to say, you know, and this is a good, good thing to think about after the question that I was just asked about, you know, where I want to be in the next five years and, you know, what I, where I want to progress towards. I think, yes, in some sorts I will be. What that capacity looks like, I don't know. Um, my bigger end game is I want to build my brand of for the lifestyle and the podcast and different areas on that. However, it would be stupid of me to just stop reselling and then just not have that as an income stream. So... In the long run, it would be to continue to grow the business and to have it working for me. So whether it's at a different kind of scale or a different operation, but I've built something good here, which I know can generate, at the moment it's generating $1,400 a week. Um, so if I can take that, expand that, and have it continue to generate that with me not having to do anything, like you know having other people working for me or in a small warehouse or something, sure, I'll do that 100% because it's now a skill and a asset that I can leverage um, so the short answer is yes um, the bigger answer is how and what that looks like yeah, I, I'm not 100% sure good question from moderns and memories <laughs> when are we going to see the roast chook recipe that you help me <laughs> when are we going to see the roast chook recipe um, cheeky boy so moderns and memories very cheeky uh, well the answer to that one is never because I'm not going to roast my chickens um, sad story actually um, and it's just timing but uh, we actually lost one of our chickens the other week um, which was a bit unfortunate that was pepper so I originally started with four lost one about nine months ago maybe um, and then I've just lost another one pepper just a couple of weeks back she was just unwell and it was I didn't realize how bad she was but she was quite sudden when she died so um, anyway not to not to spoil your question mate 
um, but no, very, very cheeky. If anyone wants recipes for cooking chicken, probably speak to your, to your mum or look up on Nando's and see how they do it. Cheeky guy. I think that was it. Four questions. There probably is some other questions, but I haven't seen any more that have come through, so um, yeah, appreciate the questions, folks. All right, team, we're back. We're going to go through all the goodies. Take it out here. Carla's going to be camera girl, and um, yeah, take over from here. So, and then we'll, we'll then we'll ask Carla what she got. All right, we got a whole bunch of Assassin's Creed. There's, I think there's six in there. We got some Bumageddon. Recently, just sold this bundle for uh, forty bucks. Uh, we've got Jesus Freaks. That should be twenty-five. I was having a ball looking at me. We got this bundle. This bundle of the seven signs um, from one to seven. That should get 60 bucks. Assassin's Creed. Just some Raymond, which is my bread and butter. I'm trying out some different Bibles. New English Bible, and this one's from 1890. Pretty good, actually. Which I felt was a bit crazy, but... 1881. Yeah, 1881. Um, and that person gave it away in 1883. So pretty crazy. There's notations in it and stuff, but... Yeah, pretty cool. Then we've got... Another Assassin's Creed. This one is the um, a burn th <laughs> chronicles. <laughs> so there's only three of the. I think there's six or seven in that one. Got this guy. That should be quick thirty. Power Rangers, just to add with all the other VHSs, and then this one should also be a quick thirty. And then the big winner today. And we'll, we'll change around now. This is what Carla got. Wow. So why'd you get this one? Um, well, this just caught my eye when I was walking through the aisle. And this is a book that I will read. Okay. So it's no, that makes sense. It's in my interest because I've always wanted to learn. And what was, it comping, what was it comping at? I haven't actually looked at this. I think it was where I saw someone's. Sold it for $75. How much? 75 75 Wow. So you got the bowler. <laughs> Are you serious? I'm going to look this up right now. And we'll, 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 we'll fact check it. It's hardcover. Bush Tucker, Australian's Wild Food Harvest. 75 If my research is correct. <laughs> Wild food. All right, let's have a look. 31 50 50 Wow. 75 wow wow <laughs> i'm actually really impressed <laughs> i shouldn't expect anything less but the, the deal was that i wasn't going to help her we we took separate ways oh, it's just five dollars and, by the way. and yeah, it was five bucks and the whole intent was that she was to do it by herself find one thing now she's going to list it and go for that process um just she's become my little my little shadower so that's really cool so this is all that we got um wow that's real, well done this bundle here should get me fifty dollars this one should get me 30. There's two 30s there. Um, not sure about this. This should be 20. Not sure of these. They, uh, I would expect $30 each at least. And that was 60 comping, but that one's a bit damaged, so it might be 50. So I'll put up the estimated value. If we've sold anything by the time you see this, um, well, you'll see it up on screen. So thanks for coming along. And um, yeah, not too bad. I'm actually really, really impressed. Really good stuff, babe. So yeah, a lot of fun and appreciate you all being here. Have a wonderful day. If you've got any questions, comments, check them down below. Otherwise, yeah, cheers.